This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a fairly uh, basic tutorial in Maya, but nevertheless a really, really important one. And if you don't know how snapping works in Maya, you should definitely check this out. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well today's going to be a quick and simple tutorial, but nevertheless a very important one. We're going to talk about snapping. Now, most people that have experience in Maya know what snapping is and how it works, but nevertheless, I want to show you because I get a lot of questions about it, okay? So if we, for example, take a polygon cube, right? And I'll go up to display and turn on my grid. You see that the cube has a position on the grid and the cube has faces right there. It has edges right there and it has vertices right there, okay? Now, each point of my object has a position in space in X, Y, and Z, and that makes sense because it's a 3D program. And here, down here, you have the X, Y, and Z controls, okay? So, I can move the object in its entirety, uh, for example, by hitting W, and when I move it, I can say, okay, this is free movement, but I want it to be specifically on one location. Now, what I can do is I can snap it to my grid position. So let's say I want it to be in this little intersection of these two lines right there, right? Now, what I'm snapping is the pivot point of my cube. So if I hit four to see the wireframe, you can see that my pivot point is exactly in the middle of that cube, okay? So if I want to have it snap to this center uh, crossing here of the grid, what I'll do is I'll hold down X, and X stands for snap to grid, okay? So while holding down X, I'm gonna pull on that. You can see it's snapping once, twice, three times, okay? So now it's perfectly aligned and centered. Now, what if I want the side of the cube to snap, okay? So let's say I want this edge right here to be aligned with that edge. Well, for that, I would need to move the pivot point into my cube, or in my cube, okay? So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna switch views, I have to zoom in, and I want my pivot point to jump over. So I'm gonna hit the insert key, which will allow me to move that, all right? I'm gonna hold down V on my keyboard, and V will snap to edge, uh, vertex, and so forth, okay? And hit the insert key again. So now the pivot point is no longer in the center of my cube, but it's on the side. So if I turn back to holding X, and I now move it, it will jump to the side, okay? So that's how you move that object. Now, what about snapping vertices, for example? I'll pull up another cube, hit W to move that over, and what I'll actually do is, because we modified this one, I'll get rid of it, and we've got two identical cubes. Both have their uh, pivot points in the middle, like so, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to snap some stuff, all right? For example, I'm gonna right click at an edge, I'm gonna have that edge selected, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down V, and I'm gonna pull it over. And as I do that, you can see that that edge now snapped to the edge that I uh, pulled it over to, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that. I'll select the bottom one, and again, with a W to move it, I'm gonna hold down V, boom. It's now snapped to that one, okay? Control Z to go back. But can I do the same thing with just one vertex? So I'm gonna right click, get a vertex, select that little vertex on top there. Again, hold V, pull, and I just snapped that one vertex up there, okay? Control Z. So what's left? Faces. I'm gonna hit five right click face so if i have that face selected i want to snap it to that one i typically wouldn't do that but it's possible so i can select that and what i can do is hold down v boom and snap it okay and hit Control z to go back so that's how you do that now that uh, explains how you snap your object how you snap edges vertices and faces but you also have a couple of magnets up here and what that does, and I'll show you, is if you, for example, click on that and turn it on, 
when I hit W to move this, you see that it's jumping? That's basically auto snap, right? And the options that you have up here is, you know, to snap to um, the grid, to snap to vertex and so forth. So whenever you move your cube and you see that it's kind of, you know, acting weird, you probably got one of these turned on, okay? So that's basically all there's to it. So uh, remind that it's, um, you know, a snap to uh, grid using the X, snap to a vertex edge and so forth using the V, all right? That's it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.